Hello everyone, my name is Gordon, and I'm going to be your two-minute science teacher today. Now something to know about me is that I really like to cook. And I also share a name with a world-famous Michelin star chef, Mr. Gordon Ramsay. Now if you don't know who he is, that's okay. Just know that he's a chef. And this chef and I are going to show you what the differences are between mitosis and meiosis. You might have seen these two terms in chapter 5 of Cell Division in your Form 4 textbook. Right, so we know that mitosis and meiosis are forms of cell division, right? Mitosis happens in somatic cells, and that's for growth of organisms, and meiosis happens in reproductive cells for gamete production. But what are the specifics to remember? Now for mitosis, say I have a Gordon Ramsay here, and I rip him in half. We get two, oh, two identical Gordon Ramsays. Now what does this mean? This means that in mitosis, two daughter cells are produced. These daughter cells are genetically identical to the parent cell. They are the same as their parent. How do we know they're identical? The number of chromosomes in the daughter cell is the same as the number of chromosomes in the parent cell. Why does this happen? This is because in mitosis, a process called crossing over does not occur. So there is no variation. What about meiosis? In meiosis, one Gordon Ramsay, again, is ripped into four Gordon Ramsays. Let's rip them. Okay, ripped into four Gordon Ramsays. However, they are one, two, three, and four. They're all different. These four daughter cells are not genetically identical to their parent cell. Why are they not identical? The number of chromosomes in the daughter cell, one of these, is not is half of the number of chromosomes in the parent cell, one of these. Why does this happen? Because in meiosis, there's a process called crossing over, which does occur, so variation happens. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck.